Fire Mage guide. Um, kind of walk you through traits, talents, macros, play style, compositions, and then we're gonna end with, um, and, and everything else I can think of, then we're gonna end with a Q and A in the chat. Um, since we're live, we get to actually get some questions for stuff that I did miss. So it's actually gonna be pretty freaking cool. Um, we'll start off with the talents. I mean, what I've been playing in twos and threes, um, there's a lot of different rogue mage compositions, but we're, you know, top 20-ish on ladder. So this is what I've been doing. I'm sure other people are doing other ways, but this is what I've personally been doing. Um, so talents and honor talents, we'll start here, um, kind of like always. And there's two builds that I primary, primarily like to go with. I like to go with this build, and I call it the Greater Pyroblast build. That's when I'm playing Greater Pyroblast paired with Searing Touch so that you're either casting Scorch if they're low life, or if they're not low life, you're going for a one shot with the greater pyro. So you have like two conditions. You're either, they're either full life and you're going for the greater pyro, or you just got the greater pyro and they're low and you're going for the searing touch. That's why these synergize very, very, very well together. You have greater pyro searing touch. With this build, guys, I don't cast many fireballs. I don't cast many fireballs at all because you have you know, a, a really, really powerful way to one shot and you have a really, really powerful way to finish. You don't really, there, there really is no middle ground. So I never cast fireball if I'm playing this build. Um, I am playing Shimmer um, as well. Um, and th this is something that I would just always, always, always lock in as Fire Mage uh, right now. The mobility, being able to get the Greater Pyroblast off, being able to get the Polymorphs off, being able to land your Ring of Frost. It's just so good in so many different ways. Um, we do have Encanter's Flow. Encanter's Flow something I'd pretty much always lock in as well. Um, you see some people mess around with mirrors. Some people try to get some one-shot memes with Ruin of Power, but Encanter's Flow, just definitely, definitely the play because you're so mobile in PvP. You can't stand still long enough for Ruin of Power to really get the effectiveness out of it. And mirror images, um, they, they could be okay in some 2v2 situations, but overall just Encanter's Flow. Um, now, I get a lot of questions on this row. Level 60, Talent Row. We have Flame On versus Phoenix Flames. Um, a lot of people are like, why don't you play Phoenix Flames? A couple reasons why. One, the overall DPS, like in PvE right now, Flame On's just more. So Flame On's just more damage. Two, Flame, Phoenix Flames is on global cooldown, which means if you're trying to burst, it's actually going to be less burst because it's on global. So if you're trying to Phoenix Flames middle of a burst, it's gonna the damage is going to come slower because it's on global um, compared to Fire Blast off global. Okay, so... One, less damage anyway. Two, less burst because it's on global cooldown. Three, it's AoE, so it breaks CC. So you cannot do it near polymorphs. You cannot do it near blinds. Break CC. So sh in short, go Flame On. Flame On's better right now. Does more damage, more burst. Doesn't break CC. <clears throat> Single target as well. Um, for this next row, we are going to go with Ring of Frost like 99% of the time. I think there's like 1% of the time you could go Frenetic Speed and RBGs to increase mobility just a little bit. Um, being able to be more mobile around the map, getting that sprint when you're casting Scorch over and over is nice. Uh, but in, in a lot of RBG maps, you get a lot of value out of Ring of Frost anyway. So I think I think Ring of Frost is, is usually what I play even in most RBG situations and pretty much always, always, always in Arena. One of the main reasons I like Ring of Frost is because if you're casting um, a Fire School, like, like say Flame Strike, well, you would never cast a Flame Strike, but just casting anything like Greater Pyro, you get kicked, then you can immediately cast Ring. Right? And then if you get kicked in ring, you can immediately cast Polly. And that's one of the strengths of Fire Mage is that you have Frost spells, you have Fire spells, and you have Arcane spells. You have three different schools to constantly cast between. Ring of Frost gives you that Frost tree to take advantage of when you get kicked in fire. Um, now we have Living Bomb, and this is, I get so many questions over, over Living Bomb because people on the stream, they're like, you never press it, so why don't you take advantage of Flame Patch or Could Flag? And the reason I play Living Bomb is to not press it. And let me explain. Flame Patch leaves a patch behind of flames when you Flame Strike, which means if you Flame Strike to get a rogue out of stealth, and then you go for a sheep on the healer, the healer could run to the Flame Strike Flame Patch to break the sheep. It's bad. You don't want Flame Patch in Arena. It would be a negative impact. So you, I would rather take nothing than Flame Patch. Can flag... Fireball applies can flag to the target, dealing additional fire damage, and enemies afflicted by can flag or ignite have a 10% chance to flare up and deal damage. This is also bad. It breaks CC, it breaks polys, it breaks blinds. You don't want can flag. So specifically, you don't want flame patch, and you don't want can flag. So that's why you take living bomb. You never press living bomb, pretty much, and unless it's like a 1v1 situation and trying to get more damage out. But you, you go living bomb to not press living bomb because the other two are negative. Right? So that's why you go Living Bomb. Meteor. Lock in Meteor. Don't think about it ever again. This talent's OP. 
you you do one shot setup so the kidney shot meteor with a rogue guy guy flops over with with combustion um so just yeah pick meteor good good for the one shots um and once again guys this is still the first build playing with gladiators medallion always play with gladiators gladiators medallion as a mage um because you can pair it with unless you're human then you can play relent because you have human shrink it but gladiators medallion if you're not a human pair it with things like tem shield pair it with things like counterspell pair it with things just like shrink it um you know trinket blink counterspell all, all of those type of things you definitely want to have a trinket to pair that with for a mage tem shield is something i almost always go unless i'm fighting a resto druid a lot of the times so i'll swap it out for kleptomania controlled burn in this build is good and greater pyro in this build is good now if you're playing a lot of 3v3 compositions the second build that i like to play i call the fireball build fireball build um and that is when I go Pyromaniac, I switch this up for Flame Cannon, I switch this up for Fire Starter, and in this build, we're, we're not really casting Scorch, and we're not, we don't even have G-Pi, so of course we're not casting G-Pi. In this build, we're casting a lot of Fireballs, right? And, and in the Fireball build, um, we're getting more and more Combustion so that we can burst more often because of the Talent Fire Starter. Fireball reduces the cooldown of Combustion by 5 seconds, you know, it's a, it's a normally a, a two minute cooldown, yeah, two minute cooldown, but if you get fireball, 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 you can combust like once a minute, forcing more cooldowns, and then 3v3, I love this, so playing with a feral, a lot of times playing with an assassination rogue, um, you know, playing with a lot of different specs where the game might be a bit slower, I love this. Now, if you're playing with a destruction warlock, right, so it just, it's very just comp dependent and play style dependent, this is going to be more consistency, more combustion burst, less, um, you don't even play greater pyro, right, so less big greater pyro burst um but when you're playing with a with the destruction warlock you're going for the just big bolts big pies this is the build when you're playing um you, you can play either build with a rogue with an assassination rogue i think this build is a little bit more consistent the fireball build um so you can kind of try both see what you're liking fireballs with more combustions or pies with bigger burst um, now the Azerite traits are going to be very dependent as well based on what build you're running. So Greater Pyroblast, Controlled Burn. I like to run Wildfire. I like to run um, Blaster Master. Uh, I'm actually doing some 3v3 out here in sex. So I'll accept that group invite. But running Wildfire, Blaster Master. Um, and some random just proc, like Intellect procs like Glory and, and Glory and Battle or Swirling Sands. I think it's just good, right? Because you just want more big burst. Now if you're playing Pyromaniac, with Flame Cannon and Fire Starter, um, you want Flames of Alacrity, right? So I actually throw on Flames of Alacrity, Helm. I throw on the, um, I think I have another Flames of Alacrity piece. I guess I already have it in my shoulders. So I have it in my Helm and my shoulders and I can respec my chest to go Flames of Alacrity in the chest as well. And then triple Flames of Alacrity, guys, I can go ahead and all of a sudden get a ton of haste on my Fireballs. So I'm getting a ton of haste from my Fireballs, tons of crit from my Fireballs. And reduce combustion from my fireball. So basically, that's why I call it the fireball spec. You're spamming fireballs to get more damage. You're getting more combustions. And every combust, you're doing more damage. So it's good consistency, good burst. It's just good. But it's a little bit slower paced than just getting your one shot and not having to cast at all. So now when you're the one shot spec, I would go out of flames for alacrity because you're not casting fireball at all. And this is this is what I play most of the time, to be honest, because it's really fun. Um, but I think the fireball spec definitely has a lot of merit um, because it's just... It's just, uh, it's just overall good. It's not like cheesy. It's not like trying to meme one shot, um, anything like that. So I'm going to briefly talk about stat priority as well. Um, the TLDR, haste, verse, mastery, crit. To go a little bit more deep into why, haste to land the polys, to land the pies. Very, very, very valuable, right? It's hard to um, tell you guys how valuable the, the stat is because it's like, oh, haste, well, in PvE, gives you a little bit more damage. But in PvP, it allows you to land the sheep that won the game. So if you never landed the sheep because you got kicked because it was a little bit slower, you would have just lost the game, period. So it's hard to quantify how valuable haste really is, but haste is the number one stat. Now, verse and mastery are almost exactly the same for fire mage. I would say verse is slightly better, but mastery is still really good. So haste and verse mastery, verse mastery almost equal, and then crit is the worst. Um, the reason crit is the worst is because, well, one, in PvP, it's 150%, not 200% extra damage, so it's just inherently worse in pvp two um combustion gives you 100 percent crit anyway and a lot of times when you're bursting you have combustion so then the crit is almost like the wasted stat a 
little bit. It still gives you more mastery for your crit, but it seems like kind of like a wasted stat. Now, a lot of the times, a lot of your burst is just Fire Blast, which has 100% crit anyway. So a lot of the ways that you deal damage from PvP are already guaranteed crit methods. So crit just doesn't really do much. Um, uh, doesn't do much for you at all. So haste versus mastery crit. As far as the enchant, I still play with quick navigation. Um, some people play with the extra damage as well. Um, but I still like quick navigation for getting more haste, making the gameplay more fluid, more solid, quicker. I love it. Going with haste enchants um, on everything because haste is that most valuable stat. And for trinkets, guys, best in slot 100%, hands down, sec on the queue. Um, Got to finish this guide before we queue up. We're, we're, what are we queuing? We're queuing some Destro, Rest of Druid, Mage with Snuts and Gore. It's going to be a great queue session. Um, but hands down, Maledict, guys. 100% if you can get your hands on this trinket. Maledict, the best, the best trinket. You can pair it with a pie, with some burst. No matter if you're playing Fireball Spec or Pyro Maledict, 100% the best trinket choice right now. Very, 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 very OP. Um, if you can get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. Now, the off trinket, I prefer the proc. I think some people are running double on use, which I don't really see the point of. I don't like that as much, but I really just like the proc trinket, right? Um, if you can throw, get a socket on there, throw some haste, whatever, um, definitely, definitely pretty solid. But I like the proc and the maledict um, for the trinket choice. So, I mean, that's talents, honor talents, stat priority, Azerite traits. I'm going to briefly talk about the damage rotation. I know a lot of people are like, how do I do damage as a fire mage? And I have full videos on this. So, if you guys want the fire mage damage rotation, full, full length video, I have that as well. But just quickly, the one shots that you're going for, a lot of the times, you're going to get the pie if you can. Right? You're going to get the pie if you can, um, if you're playing the pie spec. If you can't get the pie, that's fine. You, you, don't, you don't have to always get the pie, right? But the general damage spec, you're going to start with the meteor. You're going to pop combustion. You can maledict if you want. Hopefully, the pie is already in the air at this point. You're going to fire blast, fire blast, pyroblast, fire blast, pyroblast. All instant cast. There's no casting here, no guesswork, no ch maybe getting kicked, no maybe anything. You're going to get the pie. If you get it, great. Then you're going to land the meteor. Combust, Maledict, Fire Blast, Fire Blast, Pyro Blast, Fire Blast, Pyro Blast. Slow that down, rewind it as many times as you need. Get this burst damage rotation down, and you'll be one shotting people in Arena. I can guarantee it. The same exact rotation I use in Arena pretty much on a daily basis. Now, if you're going the Fireball spec, you do the same thing, you just don't preface it with a pie, right? And you'll be able to do it more often, because you'll have Combust more often, because you have Fire Starter, and you're spamming Fireball. So you can actually do that every, like, maybe 60 seconds if you can get combustion off combustion down from two minute to one minute. So that's the, that's the difference. You just meteor fire blast, fire blast, fire blast, fire blast, fire blast without the, without the cheap priority in the air, a little bit less burst, a little bit more often, just a slightly different spec there. Um, but, but yeah, that, that's pretty much the talents, the honor talents, first rotation, hearing stat priority, I'm trying to think if I missed anything doing this live on stream. I think we're good. Let's do a quick Q and a from the chat. If I missed anything, is there any, any, um, people in the live stream right now that have questions um is can flag okay for random battlegrounds i think in random battlegrounds i would still go living bomb in case you want to sheep something i i, I it might be okay for if you just want to pad the meters do more damage might be okay but i think i would still play living bomb because i don't want to accidentally break a break a cc that i don't want to break am i making a video yes what's up black hat how's it going dude nice explanation thanks um, you're gonna play WoW Classic? Yes. These are, like, we get some Fire Mage questions. Fire Mage questions. If I missed anything from that guide, would you ever not? That's a good question. Would you ever not use Maledict together with Combust? Great question. Sometimes you use Maledict and Combustion separately. Um, this just comes with time and experience. Like, okay, I'm just gonna Combust this go because I want to force as many things as possible. We're gonna save Maledict for the go next time. Um, but a lot of the times it's gonna be like you use them together to get a big one shot. Um, but it definitely, you know, definitely takes time. Um, good comms for fire in this meta. I actually forgot about comms. I'm really glad you asked that question. In 2v2, I'm playing mainly sub rogue fire mage. Mainly sub rogue fire mage. I think you could probably. I mean, that's going to be the best for fire. You can play fire assassin rogue. You can play fire feral maybe. You can play fire holy paladin maybe. But I think fire sub is is definitely my favorite comp. Um, in 3v3, I think fire destro healer. You can play the mistweaver pally druid shaman. Probably just not priest. Maybe Holy Priest, actually. So a lot of different healers for that. Um, I think Fire Rogue. Fire Assassin. Whether it's Fire Assassin H-Pal, Fire Assassin Rester Druid, Fire Assassin um, Discipline Priest. Um, a lot of really, really good Fire Assassin comps. Um, Fire FM Pala um, is okay. Doesn't feel crazy good because Ferals are a bit weaker. 
Uh, I think Fire Ellie still works. There's a, a lot of random comps. Um, but I think, like, definitely your best two are the Fire Destro and the Fire um, Assassin Rogue. What build do you play with Assassin 3s? Is the Fire Mage guys just stick to Fire Mage stuff? Q3s, yeah, we'll, we'll do some 3s right here when we finish the guide. Why do you position the Meteor the way you do? That's a great question. I usually do the Meteor on the edge because I like to not split the damage of Meteor. So damage from Meteor is split evenly between targets. So if you put the Meteor, say, here and here, it would hit both target dummies and it would do half damage to each. Where if you put the Meteor here, or, you know, here, and it only hits one target dummy, it's going to do more damage. So it's really, really happy you, you asked that question. Huge to... Uh, place the meteor on just the guy you're trying to kill, even if that means you have to place it like this, or like this, or like this, whatever you have to do, place it on just the target you're trying to kill, try to avoid the split damage for more burst to that one person. Um, Fireball or Chi Pai with Destro or Rogue in 3v3? So with the Destro, definitely play Chi Pai. With the Rogue, it's up to you. I think they both work. I think the Fireball spec might overall be a little bit more consistent though. Um, but cool, guys. I, I think that's a lot of the questions. If you guys had more questions, definitely let me know down below in the comments um, on the video, and I'll try to answer your questions there. But that should be pretty much everything you guys need to know about Fire Mage in patch 8.1.